Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Steven Salim and this is my colleague Carlos Perez. We both are Solutions Architect from the Well Architected team and today we're going to talk to you about the new profiles feature in Well Architected tool that can help you optimize your Well Architected framework review by focusing on the architectural best practices that aligns with your key business goals and desired outcome. Before we start, here is an agenda of what we'll go through. I will start off with a quick high-level overview, followed by a background and purpose of the feature. And then I'll hand it over to Carlos to cover a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to use this feature in AWS Console. So here is the high-level overview of the new Profiles feature. The Profiles feature in Well Architected tool allows you to incorporate your business goals and desired outcome into your Well Architected framework review so that you can focus your review on what matters the most to your business. Feature allows you to create a profile by answering a set of predetermined multiple choice questions about your business goals, workload stage, and desired outcome. And once you apply the profile to your workload, a number of well-architected questions will be prioritized based on the context that you specified in the profile. By using this feature, you can tailor your well architect framework review based on your business goals, allowing you to have a more targeted conversations with your stakeholders and focus your review effort on business critical question first. On top of that, the feature also provides your organization with a mechanism for continuous improvement by encouraging your well architect framework review to be done with a certain goal in mind. So now I will share a quick background about this feature, why it's built, and when it's most appropriate to use it. If your organization is in the journey of cloud adoption, then chances are, at a certain point in time its iteration, you will find that you have a specific outcome that you would like to achieve in your workload to align with your organizational journey. For example, let's say your organization have recently launched a pilot project. Perhaps you've migrated your business-critical workload from on-premise environment to AWS Cloud. Then the next thing that you might want to do once your workload is migrated is to perhaps make improvements on the architecture to achieve better reliability, availability, and resilience. And for this purpose, you could use the Well Architected tool to help you conduct Well Architect Framework Review, measuring your workload alignments with AWS best practices, and identify areas that you can optimize towards that desired improvement outcome. And in this scenario, when you're conducting the review, you want to prioritize on questions and topic that will contribute the most to your outcome. For example, in this particular instance, you might want to focus your review towards topics around architecting your workload to use fault isolation concepts over some other topics like decommissioning unused resources. Now, this is of course not to say that the later topic is not important, but rather the effort that you spend on this at this particular point in time will actually have a less influence to your desired outcome. In a different part of your organizational journey, perhaps when you want to optimize your workload towards costs, then in this case, the situation is reversed. The topic around how you can decommission resources would actually yield more importance and have more impact to your outcome. So now the bigger question is, given our desired outcome in, our, in the workload, which question and topic should we focus on first to review? Because there are 60 questions across the six pillars of the framework with over 300 best practices topic to choose from. Where do we start? So this is where you can use the new profiles feature to generate a prioritized list of questions based on where you are in your organizational journey, essentially allowing you to focus your review on what matters most to your business. So that's a quick background and overview of the Profiles feature. Let's now take a look on the step-by-step -step demonstration on how to use it. With that, over to you, Carlos. Thank you, Steven. Before we jump into the console, let's set the stage for this demo by using the workload journey example that you just described. So let's assume that we are conducting a well-architected framework review, and we are on a stage of that journey where the desired outcome is to improve the workload reliability, availability, and resilience. With that scenario in mind, let's jump into the console. We are now in the AWS console homepage. First, we need to access the AWS Well Architected tool. For this, we can use the search bar at the top and type Well Architected tool. To use the new profiles feature, we need to start by creating a profile in the Well Architected tool. 
And as you can see on my console, on the left navigation panel, there is a new section called Profiles. Let's open that section. From here, we need to click on the Create Profile button. And it's in this page where we define our profile. Now, remember, the context for this example is that our workload journey is in a stage where its desired outcome is to become better in reliability and availability. So with that in mind, we first enter the name and description for this profile. In this case, we are going to name it as reliability and availability. Then we have the profile question section. Here is where we need to answer a quick questionnaire with contextual information around the workload. With all the questions answered, we can then save and create the profile. Now that we have our profile ready, we can apply to either existing or new workloads in the Web Architected tool. So let's continue by applying it to a new workload. For this, we need to open the workload section and click on the Define Workload button. In the Define Workload page, we need to fill in all the necessary details. So in this case, let's do that. Once details about the workload are added, we can click on the next button so we are presented with an apply profile step. It's in this page where we can select which profile we're going to add to our new workload. In this case, we select the profile we just created. Then we click next. As we are not using any other lens apart from the AWS Web Architected Framework for this workload, we proceed and click on Define Workload. Now that the profile is applied to the workload, let's see what have changed by starting a new Web Architected Framework review. So we click on Start Reviewing. Notice that now that we have applied a profile for this workload, there is a new section with all the prioritized questions based on the context we defined for our profile. This way, we can easily focus on the questions and best practices that are prioritized to meet our workload's objective, which for this stage in our workload journey was about becoming better in reliability and availability. Now, in a different stage of that journey, let's say when the desired outcome is to optimize value for spend, you might want to run a new review to identify practices that you can apply to optimize your workload cost. In such case, we can create a new profile for this stage of the journey where optimizing value for spend is the desired outcome. So back in the Well Architected Tool Console, within the Profile section, we can proceed and create a new profile name, for example, Value for Spend Optimization. In this case, we answer the Profile Questions section based on the new workload context. And we click on Save to create a new profile. With the new profile ready, we can proceed to apply it to our workload. For this, we navigate to the Workload Overview page and scroll down to the Profile section. Here, we need to first remove the previous profile that was used for this workload. And then we can proceed and add the new profile. With the new profile added, if we continue the review, we will now see a new set of prioritized questions. In this case, questions that are more relevant for this stage in the workload journey, where optimizing value for spend is a priority. The next capability we would like to show about this new profiles feature is its sharing capability. To scale the review practice, we have the option to share a profile with others in your team or organizations to ensure alignment and increase efficiency. For this, we need to open the Profile section in the Web Architected tool and open the profile we would like to share. In this case, let's open the one we created recently. Within the Profile page, we can see the details about this particular profile and we also have the Share section. And it's here where we can create a new share to allow another IAM user, another specific AWS account, or an entire AWS organization access to use this profile. Let's click on the Create drop-down button. And for this demo, we are going to create a share with another AWS account. Now, in the Create Profile Share, we need to add the AWS account ID. Notice that you can add multiple account IDs or IAM users as a comma-separated list. With the account ID in place, we click Create and then Confirm and Complete. After doing this, a share invitation is sent to the recipient's account. 
So let's jump into that other account. Now that we are in the AWS account where the profile was shared with, within the Well-Architected Tool console, we need to open the Shared Invitation section in the left navigation panel. Here, the recipient will be able to accept or reject the invitation, in the same way as if they were accepting an invite for a shared workload or a custom lens. For example, after accepting the invitation, we will be able to apply this profile to workloads in this account. And with this, we have completed the demo for today. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. So this concludes our presentation today about the new Profiles feature in AWS Well Architected Tool. A quick recap before we go. With the new Well Architected Tool Profiles feature, you can tailor your Well Architected Framework review based on your business goals and desired outcome that you need in your cloud journey. The feature allows you to focus your review effort on the most important area first by prioritizing questions based on the context that you provide. Finally, using this feature as part of your organizational practice provides a mechanism for continuous improvement by making sure that each review are done with a certain goal in mind, and it is done iteratively throughout your organizational journey. And with that, I hope this session has been helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.